Hello, this is Louis Manro from The Fun Accountant and welcome to this video where I'm answering a sales accounting question posed by one of my clients. A client recently asked me, where can I get a list of debtors from sales accounting? This seems like an honest, simple question, but this question is loaded with a hidden need to understand the position of his business that affects current and future cash flows, as well as the possible effect of the debtors on the business's stated income and profit. I know that the client actually wants more than just a list of debtors because the client was in the process of following up on long outstanding balances from customers that originated from sales made in the past. What the client needs is a list of customers that show him how much is owed by his customers today or maybe on the previous month end. Many small businesses are still under the impression that their business evolves around a month end. They have not yet recognized that money flows continuously, ignoring cutoff periods, and that it will be most beneficial for that small business to run a life system. Anyway, I am digressing from the point, and this is a subject for another day. There is an answer to the question of how to obtain a list of customer balances outstanding on a specific day. In standard accounting language, this report is called a customer age analysis. It is difficult to comprehend how this report was compiled by hand many years ago. Fortunately, in the sales accounting system, it can be obtained by the click of a button. Let me show you how this is done and give you an example of how this report can be interpreted. In the top navigation bar, click on Customers, move down to Reports, move to the right to Customer Balances, Days Outstanding and click on it. In the next screen, you select the date on which you want the outstanding customer balances for. I'm going to select 30 June because the last day of the month is still the most popular day to run a customer balance report for a small business. Leave the customer from and to empty. By leaving it empty, you will get a report of all the customers. Select Summary. And lastly, exclude customers with zero balances, because I don't want to include customers that do not own the business money. This will make the list unnecessarily long. Click on View Report. The customer balances report is displayed on the next screen. This report starts with the headings customer, category, date, which is self-explanatory from the selections we have made in the previous step. Next is the different exporting or saving options of this report, which is ideal for sharing the customer balances report with someone else. The options are export and save as a PDF, Excel, or CSV file format, print, or email the report. When we look at the different columns of the report, we start from the left with the customer names, then the customer balances, which are categorized according to age, or to put it differently, for how long the total sales invoices are outstanding, split into columns from 120 days and older, 90 days, 60 days, 30 days, and then the current date for invoices outstanding since the current month of the report. Lastly, you get the total amount due to the business. As a side note, be aware that once a receipt from a customer is matched to an invoice, it is removed from this report. An outstanding invoice remains on this report as a balance for as long as there are no receipts allocated or matched against that invoice. Or you can also choose for the seats to be automatically matched and taken off against the oldest balance of outstanding invoices. This option is executed in the customer setup section. At the bottom, you are presented with the grand total due by all the customers categorized according to how long outstanding the debt is. Lastly, we have the option again to export to Excel, export to PDF, print the pages or export to CSV and email the report. The customer balance outstanding report is a very powerful tool 
and tells you a story about your business. In my demo company, the story is as follows. The total amount owed by all the customers is 909,000. The biggest portion of the total debt is 120 days and older. It amounts to 899,000 Rand, which constitutes 98% of the total debt outstanding. Of this 120 days amount, by far the biggest portion is owed by one customer, Surf PTY Limited, amounting to 764,000 Rand. Immediately, I have a ton of questions concerning these balances, for which getting answers will be vital for my business's survival. Firstly, why is the business in this position with this customer? Secondly, should we continue supplying them? Thirdly, are they able to pay this amount, or is this a bad debt? Fourthly, what is the impact of this outstanding amount on our ability to pay our suppliers and salaries? Fifthly, for how long can we continue to finance this customer? Sixthly, who is managing this account? And is intervention required on a high level? There are more questions that can be asked and conclusions drawn from this report. Please let me know in the comment section about any other conclusions or questions that you would have liked to ask from a report like this. As we continue our analysis, we find that three more debtor accounts is significant and requires further investigation. A positive point is the fact that for the last 90 to 30 days, our customer balances are much smaller and appear to be under control. But hopefully, this is not as a result of lower sales in those periods. You can click anywhere on the customer line in order to get more details directly from this page about customer transactions within a balance. When you click on one of the customer transactions, you will get more information about that specific transaction. My preferred way to further investigate the customer balance and to get to the bottom of what happened is to view the customer ledger. You can quickly find the customer ledger at the top navigation bar under customers, down to report, then move to the right and down again to customer transactions. Click on it. In the next screen you can specify the date range, the specific customers that you need information on, categories of customers if you are using it and the transaction type. If you only want to view invoices or only receipts you can zoom in on it. In most cases I leave the transaction type blank to select all types of transactions. You select a custom date in order to go back as far as you want. In this example I've selected the end date that corresponds with the customer balances report which is 30 June 2022. In the customer field you select the customer account that you would like to view. In this example it is Surf P2I Limited. The customer to field is automatically completed. As I only want information on this one account, I press on view report. Now one of my favorite reports is displayed, which I use regularly because it provides so much powerful information. You can see that in the period I've selected, the account starts with a zero balance. The sales invoice for goods or services delivered as tax invoice transactions is allocated under the debit column and these entries increases the amount due by the customer, whilst the customer receipts from the customer and credit notes are allocated in the credit column and reduce the balance due by the customer. You can also find the date, document numbers and other descriptions associated with each transaction. You can start communicating with the customer by sending a statement informing the customer of his outstanding amount and the details of what this balance consists of by going to the top navigation bar under customers, down to reports, move to the right and down to customer statement and click on it. In the next screen we complete the details of the customer statement. Selecting the customer, the date range, I'm going to show a balance brought forward if any, exclude fully allocated invoices that have been paid and show detail of the invoice descriptions on the statement and then click on view report. Here is the statement showing only a balance brought forward because from the start date that I have selected as the 1st of June there have been no customer transactions. 
When you change the start date of the statement and click on refresh, you can get more information about this customer's transactions. From here, I can mail it directly, print it or save it as another file format. If I maybe would like to add workings to it or highlights, etc. before sending it. Now you can head back to the customer balances report if you need to look at the customer balances again. The show report options is a very handy feature of the customer balances report and it is something you will regularly use. If you click on the show report options button, you can change your search criteria with the ability to quickly navigate to different dates, different customers or different categories. When you click on the blue button, the report options are added to the top of the page where you can make the amendments to the search criteria. In my example, I'm going to change the date to today's date to view what balances are outstanding today. This is handy when running a live up-to-date accounting system. Such a system is easily achievable with the powerful integration capabilities of Sage, Dext, your business's bank and Netcash. When you click on refresh, the data is updated to reveal the report based on the parameters that you have set. You can select to view only one customer balances report, like I'm doing here for Surf PTY Limited. Let's recap and wrap it up. Keeping track of customer balances is one of the most important aspects and management tool of a business that will assist in achieving a healthy cash flow. The Customer Balances Days Outstanding Report is just another name for a customer age analysis. It not only gives you a list of customers with balances outstanding, but also tells a story of the state of a business's debtor book. Data concerning customer transactions are automatically kept in Sage Accounting, from where it is easy to access information in the form of readable reports that can be shared in various reporting formats. The Customer Balances Days Outstanding Report provides valuable intel, enabling a business owner or manager to make good informed decisions about customers' accounts and to maintain healthy customer relationships because precise information can be easily and quickly obtained. This in turn gives an opportunity to address certain shortcomings and potential disasters within customer accounts. Hopefully with this video I've shed some light about how easy it is to quickly get a list of customers outstanding balances that can help you to find out where the money is. If you would like more information about Sage Accounting check out our other videos or visit our website. I also have a link in the description if you would like to sign up for a non-obligation 30-day free trial to Sage Accounting. Thanks for watching.